Hey everyone, so we've been reading Raised in the Sun, as you know, and you know that it's a play. And so we read the things they carried in quarter th- three, and we saw the things they carried, like big blocks of text, right? And so a play is obviously different, where you have the character, they speak, the next character speaks, and then you have all of this stuff in the middle, which are stage directions. And this is how the, the set is supposed to be set up. Like, it says what furniture should be there. It says, like, what the characters are doing, which way they're walking, what their, just what their facial expressions are, stuff like that. Um, So that the director, the person who puts on the play, knows how things are supposed to be portrayed, how the actors are supposed to be on stage. And some plays do this more than others. For example, Arthur Miller, who wrote Death of a Salesman, which is a famous play, he had pages and pages of stage directions. (laughs) And it was meant to be exactly like that. Like he, he hated it if anyone tried to do anything different. I did see one of his plays once, actually, and um, they they threw all that stuff out the window, like the way the set was supposed to look, how all the furniture was supposed to be. They just had a board. They had a drain. At the end, it rained blood. It was really interesting, and it was not real blood. It was like water and Kool-Aid. Um, but A Raisin in the Sun, like it, it, the time it was written in, uh, realism was really popular. So everything was meant to be followed like pretty much to a T so that the play was pretty much the same each time with like some differences in character and stuff like that. Um, Okay, so but what I do want to go over is stage directions. So on a stage, we have upstage and downstage. So you want to think of this like a hill. The earliest plays were performed on a hill where the actors were more like on the crest of the hill, like around, around here, and the people were down here watching. Obviously, the hill would maybe not be this steep, um, <laughs> but the actors would be up here, the audience would be down here, the viewers, the people watching. And so and that's where upstage and downstage come from. So if you're going upstage, you'd be going up the hill. If you're going downstage, it would be down the hill. So downstage is closer to the audience, upstage is further from the audience. And that's a way to remember it. Just think of every stage you've ever seen as a hill. Okay. And then we also want to think of stage directions. So there's stage right and there's stage left. So this is the audience. This is the proscenium, which is just like the stage. Think of it as a as a normal stage where the audience is here and the and the actors are here. You can also have actors in a round, which is a circular stage, and there's audience on all sides of the stage. Um, but that's not what we're doing right now. Okay, so to make it easier on the actors, because there's usually only about one director, maybe two. Um, but to make it easier on the actors, the actors on stage, those are the directions you go. So stage right would look like it was left to the director and stage left would look like it was right to the director. But the director goes by the actor's point of view to make it less confusing for them. So, so the, you see here left would actually be right to the director right would actually be left to the director. And so that's important, which is why it's called stage right and stage left. I hope that makes sense. I might end up doing something with my roommate to show show the difference. He'll probably film me um, do like going stage right, stage left, and hopefully that'll make it a little bit more sense when you see someone moving in that direction. And then just to go over downstage and upstage again, This would be downstage because it's closer to the audience, and this would be upstage because it's further from the audience. Okay, I hope that all made sense. Ask me any questions you need to. You can always email me or ask me during my office hours. 
Uh, this stuff will be on the worksheet where I'm going to ask you about stage right and stage left and left and right. So make sure you can always watch this video again. So make sure you do that. Okay, I'll see y'all later.